Hi, I'm Fred, and today we'll be making the shirt for my son's Halloween costume, the Human Spider from Sam Raimi Spider-Man. He just got into watching the movies, and I think he wanted this costume for Halloween because, you know, he knows how good my costuming skills are. Rude children. The first step was to find a good screen capture of the shot in the movie. This was early on in the beginning, he had his powers, and he was about to fight. Boom saw. Now, if I had thought about this ahead and had months of planning, I totally would have built myself a bone saw costume just to walk around with him. He's old enough he doesn't need me to walk around, but that'd have been epic. I didn't do that. Using your favorite vector program, trace out the spider image. I used Inkscape, it's free and it's fun to use. Is it fun to use? No. I'm using the mirror path effect just so I don't have to try to match up each side. It's a fairly simple matter to use a node tool to create the drawing, connecting the dots, filling it in, shaping it properly, and there you go. The next step was to size it for a full sheet of paper and print it out. I used some spray adhesive to attach it to some freezer paper. The reason I use freezer paper is because it's got a shiny side which actually sticks to cloth if you use an iron. Cut the spider shape out. Make sure you pre-wash the shirt before trying to apply the freezer paper. And simply place it in the spot you want and iron it on. It's actually fairly easy. I got about a medium high setting. You don't want to burn the paper or the shirt, but you want it high enough to kind of stick. It doesn't have to stick great, you're going to remove it anyway. Now the iron melted the spray adhesive, which was fine. I was able to take the spider design off. If I want to do another one, I still have that available. Then use very thin painter's tape I was able to find in my local home center and draw out the spider webs design using the screen capture on my phone just to make sure I was placing everything correctly. The curves are a little bit difficult to get, but eh, yeah, fake it. Now it's time to go to a good ventilated spot to spray paint this. I'm using my garage. Well, listen, you don't have to go for the... Hold on. Better. Listen, you don't have to get like the eight nine dollar Montana spray cans. You get cheaper paint, but not cheaper than a stoleum. The stuff I have, not so good. Back in the DIY punk days, you would make these t-shirts for bands or whatever. You could wash them as much as you want and the paint would never wash out. And yes, punks wash their clothes. The key to the technique is to gently spray over the edge of all the tape and the paper. You just want a little bit of overspray. You don't want thick black parts. But if you get some here and there, it's no big deal. Which is good, because you can't go back and erase it. Now for the complete costume, all you need to do is add some blue pants, sneakers, red gloves, and a red balaclava, ski mask. And there you go. You'll be climbing the walls in no time. Thank you for watching. Check out the Steampunk Miner costume for more cosplay builds. I'll talk to y'all later.